Hello everyone, Jackie Tomlin here, and we are here today for your weekend reading. I hope you guys have had a wonderful week. Ready for the weekend, probably some Christmas shopping. I know some of y'all may have some Christmas parties going on, so be careful. And if you're Sagittarius like me, happy birthday. Alrighty, this is what we're going to do. We're going to start with some random messages, then we'll get into the tarot. The focus is, let's go with the next 72, because we're looking at your weekend. What's coming up for the weekend? What do you need to know? Move my camera back a little bit here, so I got some room to work. Guys, I am available this weekend, off and on. I, don't, I think I'm taking Sunday off, so I'll be working tomorrow, this evening and tomorrow. And hello there, dear. Uh, readings are at JackieTomlin.com. You'll find a menu of options over there. And so let's get into the weekend read. What does the weekend hold for us? What does the weekend have for us? Let's see what we got going on. Hi there. Oh, ready for the weekend. This week has gone by super quick. I don't know about y'all. So what y'all doing? You Christmas shopping? What you doing? What you doing this weekend? That's right. We're hoping for a good weekend. Alrighty. Out of state. That works. Okay, so what do we have? Purification. We have knowledge. You know what they say? Knowledge is wisdom, right? The truth comes out this weekend. Okay, so something you didn't have the whole story on, you might have the whole story this weekend. You, however, are busy manifesting dreams. Love that energy. Action. This is the weekend. All those thoughts you've been thinking about, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that. Well, this is your weekend to put action towards that, okay? And, yeah, we're talking about power and leadership, okay? Taking hold of the reins. Maintain your focus and your goals. Get down. Get down, little one. My kitten, y'all. Just saying. We have acceptance. Some of you are accepting something you can't change. And that's, you know... It's a big part of where your energy goes, you know, where thoughts go, energy flows. And if you can't control it, you just accept it and move forward. Yes, some of you, quick trip out of state, that quick retreat. Remain flexible in plans. This tells me over the weekend, do not get stuck in plans, okay? Things could change at a moment's notice, so don't get stuck in plans. Be flexible. Wisdom, I told you, that goes with your knowledge. Generosity, generosity of others, and you being generous as yourself. As we're in a transition stage, leveling up is what I'm seeing. And life in general, and life in general, we're leveling up. Transfer of energy, meaning you have realized and embraced that when you do the same thing, you get the same th results. So therefore, you're going to change things up. And look at there, love is in the air. New beginnings. A weekend of new beginnings and a weekend of prosperity. So if you're working this weekend, it will be worth your time. All right, let's see what other messages we can pull out here for the weekend read before we get into the tarot. Hello there. I know I'm a little late today. I forgot I had to go have my blood work done. Ugh, but, you know, it's done. Alrighty. What do we have here? Okay, take some time out for your energy work sometime over the weekend. Looks like overall the consensus is going to be a busy weekend. But take some time out to center. You know, hi, Lily. Uh to ground yourself do your yoga your meditation your reiki take some time out for that this weekend remaining hopeful I like this and some of you just trying to get back in the groove of things or some of you are trying to get into the christmas groove to be quite honest uh you've got choices and decisions to make that you've been putting off and there is a reminder here, and I want you to take that as a 12-month reminder. Where were you this time last year? What were you doing this time last year versus what you're doing now on this year? And there's something here you're in denial about. You may also 
be dealing with a significant other that I would refer to as your polar opposite. And that's okay because it is truth and opposites attract. But there's also here that you may be dealing with somebody with an addiction of some sorts. You, however, need to take some time for a little bit of glow up for yourself, a little time, a little energy for yourself. Um treating yourself doing something nice for you yes it's the holidays and all like that but still do something a little nice for you this weekend and again love is in the air this weekend some of you are starting thank you jesus you are starting to recognize and embrace your self-worth Ooh, i like that i like that i need to do that myself um recognizing and embracing your self-worth and that's certainly not a bad thing right and we have, remember, someone's coming in to, your, to confide the truth in you. So don't pass judgment on them, you know. Uh, I still can't say you got the whole story, but you're getting the gist of it, okay. And spirit asking to speak to you, okay. This means pay attention to the signs of synchronicities. And I want you to pay attention to your dreams. Hey, Nisha. But also, also, I need you to really listen. Listen. You hear that strange voice going on over in your head? That could be one of your spirit guides this weekend. It's a weekend about wish fulfillment. Some of y'all going out to dinner. Some of you feeling like you've hit a brick wall. And some of you more than one wish fulfilled in a very short weekend. Okay. And yeah, maintain your vision, your goals, because something here tells me it's going to require your obedience, your consistency, and your diligence, okay? All right, gang, let's move into the tarot and see what the weekend holds for us. Let's see what the weekend holds, right? Wishes, wishes are always good. I love when we have wish fulfillment. This is also closing out your full moon energy this weekend. Okay, so you know. So some of you are going to be highly motivated. Some of you feeling a little bit jiggity. And some of you are going to have a little loss of sleep. And you know what? It's okay. It's okay. New moon comes in next Tuesday. All right. Let's see what the weekend has for you guys. We have the two of pentacles. We have the Five of Pentacles. There's part of those wishes and blessings. And you have the world. So what you've got going on here is some of you are out of your comfort zone financially. And I mean, let's face it, it's December, it's the holidays. Yes, financial crush. Some of you may feel that you're juggling. You're juggling uh, financially, that you're borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. But then right beside that, there it is. There's the financial blessing and the spiritual blessing. Counting those blessings, okay? Something comes in to get you through. And some of you, some of you may be getting a gift, something to do with a key, a key opening this gift. So this could be a house. This could be a car. This could be something significant. Hello, Miss Sharon. And we have the world is your oyster. What great energy for any weekend. Y'all, your energy is so high. So high mm, with the sun, the sun shining brightly, and all that you do on top of the world. Get out of here! All righty, center your reading. Ooh, we have the three of swords and we have the six of swords. So, center your reading. Someone may try to involve you in a third party situation. So, let's be well mindful if you're single that this isn't a third party situation. But at the same time, this also means three is a crowd. This is someone trying to put their nose in your business. You guys are grounded. You're centered. You're happy. Go lucky. And some people, they can't stand that. Maybe nosing around in your business. Six of Swords says you're leaving the trouble waters and you're headed into the calm. Good energy here. Ten of Wands comes in with the King of Wands and Temperance. Okay. Ten of Wands says, you know, now we're talking about 
Hmm. Overcoming your obstacles. The worst is over. This is you taking authority. You taking the reins. Aries may or may not resonate with you. But this is you putting your foot down. You being true to yourself. And we do have you doing things differently. That's going to get you a better result. Want to throw out that you may be dealing with a fire sign this weekend. Which is going to be an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. You're welcome. Two of Pentacles. The juggling financially comes with. The Knight of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Fool. You're going to be fine. This is leading you to victory and success. Some of you may have an audience. Some of you may be a tarot reader. Some of you maybe do some public speaking, but you have an audience of some sort, but you're being led to total victory and complete success. Either way, this weekend, at some point in time, you're going to be surrounded by people you're not normally surrounded by. Some of you are working and gaining, okay? Just like me, you're working for the weekend and hard work is going to pay off. And we have a love, love, love that we have the world and the sun. And now we have the full card energy that says you're happy, go lucky, carefree, travel and light. Doing you. And at the same time, um... You're getting ready to jump into something with both feet. Guys, all the personal readings go through my website at JackieTomlin.com. The prices range between $15 and up, and you'll find a menu of options over there. Okay, on the blessing, there it is, wish fulfillment. The blessings, financial and spiritual page of cups. And we have the Five of Cups. Look at there. You've got wish fulfillment, happiness, contentment, joy. I like it. I like the energy of this. Page of Cups, an unexpected offer of assistance or an unexpected offer of love. A Pisces may or may not resonate here. And we have the Five of Cups. This is, you could be your own worst enemy. You, the only way you're going to self-sabotage this weekend is right here. Get out your head. No overthinking things. Matter of fact, don't even think. Just do. Okay? Get out your head this weekend. I'm oh, loving the energy here. The world. What do we have for the world? We have the hangman. We have the nine of wands. And we have the ten of wands. Again, this is saying. Again, you got the ten of wands twice. The worst is over. Because the worst is over, and because you're feeling that transition in energy, and you're feeling your transition into this new beginning, you are absolutely going to feel what I call bajiggity. You're going to feel like a cat on a hot tin roof. You're anxious, you're excited, you're overwhelmed. You're all of that all at one time. Okay? Uh, what I would describe as being normal. And some of you are feeling a little stuck or a little lost. Feeling like you're not moving forward. You're not moving backwards. There's no movement. This is Spirit asking you to be still while they line up everything for you. Okay? Now, on the sun of that happiness, yes, indeed, this is why you're still. This is ca the calm before mm -hmm. the storm. Weekend for you to get things done. This is the weekend for you to get things done that you've been putting off while you have time to do so. You guys are in a great spot. Like I said, you're feeling that shift. You're feeling it. You know things are going to go well. An Aquarius may or may not resonate here. And or a Scorpio. And bottom line, it is no matter what you're doing, it's asking you to open your heart. Open your heart to give love. Open your heart to receive love. This could be in matters of the heart as well as family and friends. It's a general read. So you, I want you to take it as it resonates with you. Now, the warning of the three of swords. What comes with that? Someone is looking at you for a commitment. Someone's looking at you as the happily ever after with the ten of pentacles. Two tens. This is going to be a powerful, strong new beginning. It's just as powerful as if I pulled that death card energy. And it's got to do with matters of the heart. Okay. Someone's looking at you for commitment. There's an abundance here. Okay. This is your highest financial card in the deck. When I tell you, don't worry about finances. I cannot stress that enough. Cannot stress that enough. 
I know you guys are in the Christmas crunch and I can feel you. I can feel the energy when I say, don't worry about finances and you're sitting there going, easy for you to say. Yes, it is because I see what's coming. Okay. That's what's coming. This is also your abundance in general, health, wealth, family, and friends. Guys, you're intuitive, you're grounded, you're centered. It's asking you to trust your intuition. But it matters if this person is looking at you for that happily ever after and who is looking at you for that commitment. Remember, this falls on that Three of Swords. So if they're ending something with someone, put your nose in that business and make sure it's ended and concluded. Okay? So... Six of Swords. What do we have going on here? Six of Swords comes with the Two of Swords. Again, decisions to make you've been putting off. And for some of you, I'm going to be honest, it's tough decisions. Tough decisions. Ooh, the Chariot, my favorite card, trumping your entire reading. This is your yes answer. This says you get everything you want, everything you desire. It's presented on the table before you. This is going to come rushing in. This is your yes answer. Okay, and it's going to come when you least expect it. Love it. Judgment. Twofold. Twofold here. Don't pass judgment on someone too quickly because you're going to be wrong if you do, even though I need you to look around them for that third party. But at the same time, quit worrying about what other, what other people think about you. Quit worrying about it. Stop it. Just stop it. Okay. This is a weekend of treating yourself, not worrying about what others think. Knight of Pentacles says that money I'm talking about comes in, but it's, it's going to be slower coming. I mean, come on, y'all. It's money. Money is never there quick enough, but it is coming. And we have the Devil card energy. See, there's that shady person. There's that threes of crowd. No one holding you back but you. Like I said, the only way you're going to self-sabotage this weekend is sitting around and overthinking things. So, no time for that, right? All right. King of Wands, you take an authority. Says you've got the strength to get through no matter what. It's going to be a busy, quick-paced weekend at the Empress. Somebody views you as that Empress. That Empress outranks the Queens in the deck or the Kings, okay? Um, you're on top of your game right now. And you need to know this is also positive changes on the home front. And for a small percentage of you, a small percentage, there's going to be news of a pregnancy. Okay? Look at here. Guys, I can't make this up. It's the emperor. This is officially the highest power couple in the deck. And you got it on a weekend read. Can't even, not even go try to make that up. This very seldom happens. With that chariot trump on a reading. Looks pretty amazing to me. Oh, Patty, I forgot to call you back. I went and had my blood done. That's why I was the only one you called. Patty Cameron. She is uh, my co-host on What You Didn't See Today. You can find the blog at whatyoudidn'tseetoday.com or look us up on Rumble. Rumble.com, What You Didn't See Today. But it is a political channel, so you know. There you are, Miss Sharon. And on that Sagittarius energy, you've got the Two of Wands. Some of y'all looking at traveling. Traveling. Some light travel. Uh, King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Gemini. It's not so much I see you dealing with a Gemini. I really feel that someone's coming in to discuss your finances or some kind of financial planning going on here for your future. Knight of Swords. Something is rushing in. Let's see. See, 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 see. The second time was rushing in. Three of crowd. Three of swords. Now, it's a twofold three of swords. One of two scenarios here. It is general. Take it as it resonates. Yes. Okay. So, three of swords. We are talking about scenario one. Family, friends, you're happy, go lucky, you're busy, you're loving life. It pisses people off, okay? Somebody's in your business. Scenario two is this person that is looking at you as a commitment, looking at you as the empress. Are they walking away from something? And if they have, make sure they have, okay? 
So twofold there. Like I said, it's a general reading. You take it as it resonates for you. Center of the reading bonus. Ooh, the moon. Like I said, this is the last weekend of the full moon energy. The wheel. Good luck and abundance. The wheel turning in your favor. <laughs> Door number one. That's right. And the sun again. The sun shining bright in all that you do. So your bonus wrapped up with three major arcanas of the moon, the wheel of fortune, and the sun. Let's give you one more. This says the five of swords. Lord, you're guarded and defensive. And I, I agree with Patty. I think it's door number one. People don't like you when you're happy. <laughs> I don't know why, but people don't like you when you're happy. And it's true. It's sad, but true. But it is very true. All right. Kipper. We'll see what Kipper has for y'all. Because y'all love the Kipper deck over here. It's true, Nisha. I swear to it, it's true. People do not like you when you're happy. Mm -mm -mm. What does Kipper have going on? Kipper says something is coming in this weekend. This weekend, guys. That is going to supersede your expectations. Again, and I only have this on the collective read here. Let go of your poverty mindset. You know, I don't stop this reading three times to talk to you and tell you the Ten of Pentacles is here. What you need is going to be provided. It's going to be more than what you needed. Okay, let go of that mindset. You are on the right path. This weekend, unexpected company. Get the house clean. Clean up the living room. Unexpected company this weekend. Could be dealing with a male that wears a suit and tie, some kind of official type person. I love people being happy too. I ain't letting nobody rain on my parade. I don't know about y'all. For some of you, like I said, you're working this weekend. You may be asked to do some overtime. It's going to be worth it. Definitely some overtime hours. You could be dealing with someone in the military. This could be a pat, someone from the past, like a veteran or something. Somebody's got a military background. There will be a message of concern that you need to take control of. K, the letter K is present. Okay? And someone coming in with a gift. Nope, not a Christmas gift, but just a gift. And again, you're going to hear someone going to jail, someone getting out of jail. One of the two. And this secret admirer, this person that... that has a crush on you lucky number seven here as well may actually send you a message and this is going to come in like the form of an email or a text message god forbid it be a phone call and some of you are traveling quickly quick trip out of state nothing major but quick travels some of you also looking at traveling by train and if you're asked to get involved with your community please do so Y'all, I just uh, saw the most wonderful thing. After I had my blood drawn, you know, I had to run into five below because, well, I mean, it's right there where you get your blood drawn. Duh. So anyway, when I was coming out, a man had a trailer, like a, a lawn care trailer behind his truck. And his wife was inside shopping. They had one register that an employee was helping them. And they were loading that trailer. Loading that trailer. And uh, by the time I got done, anyway, he checked out at $1,500 with a trailer full of toys because he was Secret Santa for one of our local churches. <laughs> How cool is that? Restores my faith in humanity. It really does. It was just a beautiful thing to witness and see and how happy he was, you know? I mean, yeah, it's a tax write-off for him, but, you know, he was just so proud. And so happy. And I'm like, God, do you know how many happy kids are going? You know, Five Below's got some cool stuff. And he left out there with that trailer full of Five Below bags with $1,500. Like I said, restores my faith in humanity. All right, guys. Love. Love for the weekend before we wrap up here. It was. It was. I thought, so are you just knocking out all your Christmas present? My first thought was, God, you got a ton of grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, no, ma'am. He says, I'm the secret Santa for one of the local ch uh, churches for the children that don't have much. 
you've never heard of it? Wow. Oh, yeah. Five below. Well, yeah. I, it needs to be renamed five and up. <laughs> it used to be everything in the store was five dollars or under. And it's still 80% of the store is five dollars and under. But now we've got a ten dollar section, a fifteen dollar section, 25 on up to 50. But there are tons of great buys for kids in there. I mean, I, I, I snuck in there for something specific for my granddaughter. So, yeah. You have one in Kansas? It was just such a beautiful gesture. And I got, thought, God, happy children. And his wife was in there. She was buzzing, you know. She bought X amount for this age group. She bought X amount for this age group, you know. It was just a wonderful thing to see. It really was. All righty. Love for the weekend. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. That means you're both romantically, you're mutually attracted to each other. So, you know. Worth waiting for. Divine timing as I work in your love life. Divine timing could very well be this weekend. Absolutely, Sharon. Just did my heart good. A new love, people. A new person has stared your romantic feelings. Well, that's something different. And we have healing from family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And we have true love. Oh, Lord. So now you got chemistry, a new love, and true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. You know, I guess there's a reason that they said to open your heart to give love and receive love. Because this angel says it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Bam, I might be psychic. You never know it. All right, let me give you a positive affirmation for the weekend. Guys, don't forget, if you're seeking a reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. I am taking off Sunday, uh, but I am working this evening. I'm working tomorrow if you're seeking a personal read. And then, of course, I'll next week because this is just how I roll. Your message is, just like the moon, I will go through phases. Amen to that, right? You all go through phases. This is one of the most vibrant and positive reads that I've seen in a long time. And it's telling you the only way you can self-sabotage this weekend is by overthinking things. So don't do it. Ah, pull another card from your deck. Let's pull one of my cards and see what it says. Ooh, summer. Something you've been manifesting from summer could come in this weekend. Oh, thank you, Misha. And we have say yes. You're going to, because like I said, it is said, you are happy, go lucky, and getting ready to jump into something with those feet. And your last card is surrender to the spirit energy. Beautiful reading. Beautiful, beautiful reading. Guys, if you want to join me on my other YouTube channel, it is youtube.com backslash psychic Jackie, where over there I spill the tea for the weekend read. So, there's that. I won't be doing that today till probably about 3.30. You guys have a super fantastic weekend. Patty, if you're still here, call me back. And, uh, yeah. Who knows? I may jump on here tomorrow. You never know. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your gifts. I greatly appreciate every one of you. I will see you then. Bye, guys.